Okay, well today, oh, this is quite some weight. We've got a NATO 40 FM, and this is unusual. In these, have this square type of connector at the back, and you should find it uses a Sabinet PTB M002AOX chassis, which is also used in the Amstrad and the Mustangs, and it uses the the power lead which we use for these is the Workman CB2R, which is the square one. So they can be hard to come by, but this is an American firm, and there's plenty of people who are distributing their products. I've made a mic up because it hasn't got one with it. I've never I've not opened this particular setup. I've only ever seen one of this version before. Look, it's been base station, someone's put some bump ons on it and uh, I'll open it up and we'll see what's inside okay I've opened it up and it looks perfect and I've done a very quick uh, transmit check and a very quick receive check and it's doing both of those basic functions so without further ado we'll just check the VCOs right okay well the VCO is supposed to be set by selecting channel 1 and putting the test prod on capacitor 9 on the hot end of that capacitor 9 is the I'll just zoom in on this so you can see a bit better it's supposed to be the green capacitor there except I'm getting 0 volts but the radio is working so there's something, there's a bit of an anomaly there. And I've got a backup plan because pin set 27, sorry, pin 17 of the 7137 also should be able to be adjusted for the VCO. So putting my prod now on pin 27, I've got 2.6 volts, which is exactly what I should be expecting. So I'm going to adjust the L1 for 2. which I now have 2.03 and I'll put this into transmit we do have transmit and we'll set the CT1 which is the red trimmer there in transmit also for 2 volts. Now this is interesting because I've run out of hands. Now I have two volts there as well. Now, having done that, I'm just going to check on channel 40. And on channel 40, on transmit, I should have four to five volts. On receive, I've got 3.57, which sounds right. And on transmit, I've got three, so that should be all right. I'm just going to go back to the proper test point and see what I've got now. For some reason I've got nothing on receive and minus 3 on transmit. So I don't know what the anomaly is there. But on this occasion I've used pin 17 of the synthesizer chip to set up the VCO. So whether there's something with this set but um, it still set up the VCO by a different route. So for some of you struggle with getting the reading off the uh, capacitor 9, that is always an alternative route to use pin 17 of the LC7137. So that covers that. Right, we're going to transmit. 
and the first transmit core to do is T1. Now this radio is transmitting and what's it doing? It is, good grief, uh, doing four and a half watts. So first of all, transmit, uh, it's the T2, T3, which is the second one, T2, no, it's not T4, and then I'm moving the tool to L4. And then finally, onto L8, which is hiding between behind the green resistor there. And I'm just trimming it now down to four watts because it was doing four and a half. So that's set up on transmitter treat. Now we'll just check the the meter on the front panel is also reading 4 watts and we need to adjust our V1 if it's not it's minutely out and RV1 is the one near that green resistor No, do you know I can't even find low power. I don't think there is one of these. How strange is that? We've got tone, Roger bleep, channel nine, modulation clear or normal, CBPA, delta tune. We haven't got low power, so okay. There's no switch on the back. No. Shows how many of these I've seen. Right, now we'll do the deviation, and the deviation is set with RV3, RV3's there, do you know it looks like it's on full, I hope it isn't, because these are capable of about 10, to be like on three channels at once if it was set like that. So, switch on the tone generator, I'll put the other camera on for you, on the right hand oscilloscope. Actually, that's showing spot on 2.5. Ah, now it's stabilised, this isn't. It's uh, showing 5. Yes, it was at 4, which is ridiculous. Um, that's 2.5. Quick whistle test. <whistles> Wallow. Actually wants to come up a fraction with the whistle test. <whistles> Wallow. That's it. And we're set. Now we need to check the it's on frequency. That's done with L2. L2 is there. They normally drop with age, so it should be 27.79125. And it is 27.79112. See if we can bring it up. I've been able to bring it up to 117. The crystals drop with age, that's well within tolerance. And there we have it, that is set up for transmitting. That's working a treat. I'll join you on the second part of this video for receive.